Welcome uh, to another explanation of Canvas. Uh, this little short demo is about using uh, Confer Zoom. Um, so if you have Confer Zoom enabled, just click on that and let's take a look at it. Uh, you'll notice the interface for Confer Zoom is a little different. And I'm going to be honest, I'm still learning this myself. Uh, I have scheduled a meeting by clicking on the big blue button schedule and I have typed in a schedule so like Matt's demos you can call this anything you want for example office hours uh, it can be a single event it can be a daily event weekly and you want to fill it out uh, so let's just say I'll make this for a single event a little bit later, oh no, I don't want to change the time zone. Don't change the time zone. <laughs> That's correct. Uh, so, so a single event. Let's just say it's tomorrow. Um, let's just say it's going to be at ten o'clock, just to make it real simple here. And it's going to last for an hour. Okay, it's going to be hosted by me. I'm going to click save, and it populates it. And when I come back and I'm ready to use it, I can click prepare, and it should run. A uh, question came up about do students get notified in your class and as of yet I'm not sure I'm still looking into that um, but there are some nice things here that you can do also with the new version you have this feature to use appointment booking so I could for example offer a slot okay let's say I'm going to offer a slot uh, this afternoon so let's see let's just say it's weekly and these are going to be office hours also. Uh, let's just do a single one for now so I don't mess up my calendar. Uh, let's just say it's going to be this afternoon. Uh, so I'm going to choose today, which is January 24th. And let's make it an afternoon event. Let's just say 1 o'clock to 3. So let's put that here. Um, let's set that to 3. And then people can sign up. So the nice thing about this version is your students can actually sign up for uh, slot duration. So you can say 15 minutes. I'll put uh, 20 minutes. Okay. So uh, you can set whatever you want. And then you'll notice that you have upcoming slots and students can come in here and click on this to book an appointment. So that's a pretty nice feature. And if you, um, you know, want to look at this a little bit differently, if you're like, what does this look like to my students? There is a view as student button right here. Uh, for some reason I don't see it under appointment booking but when I go back to event calendar I do see it and once again I, this is a uh, new service uh, upgraded service so the interface is a little different uh, you have event recordings uh, so uh, if you wanted to uh, uh, if you did record something it would be found here uh, but notice these are events that have happened in the past in uh, this demo course there's not many and it says no recordings found so there's nothing there <laughs> uh, event attendance is the last thing that's pretty cool uh, so so you will actually get a report now once again this is a demo course so there's nobody in here but you will get a report of those who attended and that could be very beneficial stats so um, I apologize for not knowing if a message gets sent to the students or not I really don't know I'm going to be looking into that. If you find out, please let us know.